Oh, I was there. Of course, yeah, I was there. What's going on, guys? The McDoctor here, second to nine custom. And like always, it's a pleasure to have you back. Happy related New Year, man. I hope you're doing well. You're doing good. Your loved ones are doing even better. And it's a year of prosperity, new projects built, and new goals. Yes, <laughs> definitely, man. I'm gonna pump every single one of you at home, even if you don't have the same cars. They're working every single car you got at home and just pump them up to the fullest, man. And we're gonna just rise up, hopefully most of yeah, yeah, open channel as well as yeah, like me. And we can make this grow. We just make a community. We get together, we support each other like we're supposed to do. Anyways, today we're gonna be working in the uh R7 bumper. That's right. Uh, like I yeah, see, it looks like a war zone over here. We got tons of parts everywhere. It's like the old fenders and stuff like that behind me that I had that I didn't want to do. Everything is in the car already installed, pretty much. Other parts that I've been fixing from the sunroof, fenders, etc. And this is the bumper. Pretty much the last pieces to the puzzle, if you could say. On the 1984 GXL RX7 XC. And yeah, I'm so happy and excited everybody's here. It's always, like I said, man, we got great things coming. For the of the video, we're gonna talk about a couple more things. They're gonna be so interesting. Yeah, but, yeah, but right now, we're gonna stop the talking and get to this uh, bumper fixing. You know what I mean? Just a little DIY on how to prep a little bumper at home. We're not even gonna title a 84 x 7 bumper, just fixing a bumper. Any kind of bumper you got home, so. Yeah. Speaking of bumper, if you've been an OG to the channel, tell me if you remember that bumper. And the first three that gets it right, get brownie points for the giveaway. So, with that, it's gonna be. All I'm gonna say about the giveaway, I'll talk further away in this video. So we stay tuned with the bumper right now. Yep. Yes, we right back, right, 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 right back. Yes, seen the body work is much improvement. Little things I gotta go over the primer again, but this side is pretty much knocked out. The fender on it. Still got it mounted in. Finish has got like two bolts, but I don't know if I just pull it leave it installed just take it apart again and paint it most likely i'm gonna leave it together because these cars are painting the rear just to take out apart and put back 1984 guys so but yeah nice and straight straight lines freaking cool my peeps but being that we made this booth look how much this do it's a good thing though because all the wind right now could work in here with my heater i got and I'm good money. Like, you know what I mean? I'll be heating up. And if I close my door, even better. Anyways, the RX-7 is getting to uh, body restoration finale soon. I'm gonna do a couple more episodes besides this. Maybe two more. Maybe one more. This is the last dent that I got a fix on it. Um, this side don't got much stuff at all. Just little sanding. And go over little stuff, it's ready to sand it. Same with the back. Just gotta like um wet sand to get it prepped. And um, you know, get it going. It'll be good. So pretty soon we're gonna be doing a video on the paint gap and all that stuff. Um coming up soon, that's what I wanted to get to you guys. We're gonna do an engine install in this. Yes, engine install. We're gonna go back with the 13B engine, rotary engine that I told you guys. I was trying to get, already got it. Transmission is right there in the floor. So the next video, most likely, and possibly is gonna be painting the motor. I want to paint the transmission completely it's nice and clean. It's 13 engine, uh, 13 B engine, rotary Mazda. She's pretty clean, the guy that sold it to me, he gave me a good deal. I paid about a thousand dollars for it. For motor and everything not bad good condition it was a full rebuild motor it got about 70,000 miles in the motor and 
Same way you guys see how clean all that transmission is, that's how the motor is. It was converted from fuel injection to carburetor. I believe it's got a full barrel holly. And it pretty much just said that plug and play. So when once we do the uh, engine paint over, makeover and stuff like that, we'll do another bit of current installing the engine. After installing the engine, the body is to be finished. And we're gonna paint the RX-7. Bring it back to the glory days. But yeah, looking sharp, man. Apologize for the delays on videos and not to try to put 50 videos of sanding the car and fixing something like for real. Y'all see me uh, sanding in the channel. Y'all know that I got love for ya, you know, and I'm here for ya. So um, if you wanna, if you're new on the channel and you wanna curious and learn or send something, go back to my videos, please, and you see a little bit more old stuff and things like that and like body work. Go back to the old videos and um, yeah, I got plenty of sanding painting uh doing rattle can jobs doing compressor jobs i got videos on how to do custom fenders cutting bumpers a little bit of everything not too many of them as fully detailed as i want but yes i promise i will get better i appreciate every single one of you that have subscribed to the channel they've been loyal since three and a half years that we've been on the channel um, we just finally reached 100. I promise you guys, once we reach 100, we're gonna do a giveaway. So I'm gonna give you guys instructions in the next bit when we do the engine and stuff when we're doing the giveaway. So I want every single one of you to please stay tuned, support the channel. Um, just with a simple like, drop a comment. You know, a lot of these times, you know. Half of the course that I'm doing here, I share with you guys, and not just to show off something that I have. I just you know, share with you guys, have a good time. How we could build a car from scratch, the completely probably worthless to somebody, you know, and um, we could make it worth something, you know what I mean, and save up some money and make money. But yeah, I'll make sure you yeah, stay tuned. And, um, yeah, we're gonna get down to uh, the bottom and do the bumper thing.
Yeah. Bumpers already fixed up. Like we see. Made the primer heavy. Got a lot of coverage. Okay, the moldings. Still got a wet sander before we paint it. But the R7 bumper for the GSLC is finished. And yeah, it's pretty much how you do any bumper at home, not just an RX-7, any bumper. But this is ready, 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 ready as it gets. Just like that. All right, my peeps, I'm gonna wrap set up for this time. Should they stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching.